Hello loves! Today's video is going to be a slightly different sort of haul. Ever since I started filming in this location against my bookshelf, and you guys have seen my little Kyo from um, Fruits Basket and Jolteon from Pokemon and all of my manga and stuff, I've gotten so many comments from people saying how they love those things as well. So I decided to unleash my slightly nerdy side in this video, and I'm going to be doing a haul of some goodies that I picked up, and this is super cute cutesy, super themed around characters. I have some things from Harry Potter, World, and Universal Studios, um, and then a lot of this is from like Hot Topic. They have a very good selection of like Disney um, and different animes and stuff like that. So this is going to be a clothing haul and kind of a miscellaneous haul I am also going to be trying on for you guys. I just hope you guys like it. I think it'll be a fun way to learn a little bit more about me and my style and um, the things that I like that maybe you did not already know about. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so let's talk about some of the things that I got at Universal Studios. I was honestly a tiny baby bit disappointed by the lack of Hufflepuff gear because Hufflepuff is my house. I denied being a Hufflepuff for so long and then I finally embraced it and when I went to the theme park I found that there really wasn't much for Hufflepuffs. It was mostly Gryffindor and then the things that weren't Gryffindor were like Slytherin. So I found this white hoodie and it just, it's a zip up, um, it just says Gryffindor on the front in case you cannot see and it's super like big and comfy and then on the sleeve it just has the Gryffindor house patch, the little symbol, and Gryffindor is kind of like my backup house, like if Hufflepuff wasn't available for whatever reason, I think I would be a Gryffindor instead. I will say that the zipper on this bad guy, like it's kind of busted, especially for as much as I paid for this. It's like official, I didn't buy this on the internet or anything, I bought this at the um, Universal Studios theme park inside of a store, so I was a little bit disappointed by that, but it is really soft and it's really cute. So this hoodie is pretty straightforward. It's just a white zip-up hoodie. The zipper is kind of cheap and I feel like it is starting to get better, but if any of you have any tricks for like sticky and stubborn zippers, just let me know. But it just says Gryffindor on the top here. It has 07 right there. And then on the side it just has the Gryffindor patch. Like it's not the most fashion forward I've ever been, but it is really cute and soft and I will wear it for always. The only Hufflepuff thing that I found in the theme park that I really liked was this and I don't really know if this is supposed to be a, like an actual like stein or not. I'm probably gonna use it as a coffee mug if we want to be like totally real and it just has the Hufflepuff crest on it. And then the handle is a badger. I love this. Um, this is really cute and I, like I said I'm gonna drink coffee out of it. Kind of expensive. Um, I wanted to get Tyler his house too but honestly I was walking around the theme park all day with this and I didn't really feel like carrying another so sorry Ty you have to wait until the next trip. The only other thing that I got at the Universal Studios theme park is this little bad boy. This is a pygmy puff and I bought it at Fred and George's joke shop in Diagon Alley and it's so cute. Look at him. He's like a really bright pink and I just thought he would be cute to like add into my little plushy mixture back here. I just can't get over him. I haven't named him yet, so if you guys want to help me out, that would be good. Um, I really like little soft plushies like this. My reaction to puppies and stuffed animals is roughly the same. So let's talk about a few clothing pieces, and I will be trying all of this on. The first thing I am wearing, and I will like stand up and show it to you in a close-up, but this is a My Neighbor Totoro shirt, and it just says, Be My Neighbor on it. You have like a Totoro and a mushroom and the acorn and just the... Everything is so cute and this was one of my favorite movies of like all time. I think My Neighbor Totoro is one of Studio Ghibli's more popular movies as well because there's always like shirts and styles in this especially in Hot Topic. I think that they have licensing to it so. Alright so here is the top up close and you can just see everything it says. Just be my neighbor. The sleeves do come down a tiny bit lower. Um, I'm not someone who usually likes cap sleeves on my t-shirts and I just think it's really cute. Not a whole lot to say about it other than that. It's just a very cute simple t-shirt. Speaking of My Neighbor Totoro, I actually tried this on in store and fell in love but the only one was that, that was there left in store was kind of busted like it had been torn at the top for some reason and I'm not really sure what happened to it so I wound up buying it online. This has a giant Totoro on it and Mei and Satsuki and it is so 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 cute. It is just like the most adorable skirt ever and I thought that it would be really fun to pair with just like a basic white 
white t-shirt for like a little pop of something and it's kind of quirky and cute. I loved this skirt the second I tried it on. Probably will not wear it with the Totoro top as well, but just for the sake of showing you it on. Forgive me holding my um, t-shirt. I just wanted you guys to be able to see this. And when I kept tucking this in, it was almost creating lines underneath this. It's actually fully lined, so there is a slip underneath, which is really nice. Um, but I think I would have to wear a crop top with this or like wear tights to tuck my top into under the skirt. So a little fun fact about me, I love Sailor Moon more than most things in life. This is probably the first anime that I ever started. So it's really close to my heart. I used to watch it when I was a kid. I fell in love with it. I'm reading the manga now and I am watching the revamp as well. So when I saw this dress, I fell in love. Luna was actually what I named my cat when I was like seven. It just has crescent moons all over it and Luna, who is my favorite, and Artemis as well. So I think it's really cute. It's just like a basic little skater style dress. It's like a tank on top and it goes into a really pretty like flared skirt. It's actually quite opaque. I was a little bit worried it was going to be a tiny bit tight. Sometimes Hot Topic can run kind of small um, and be sort of like cheap material but this was definitely not. This dress is another major favorite. I just fell in love with it the second that I put it on. I think it's a gorgeous color for summer and I obviously love the print. On top it's just a basic tank and then it sort of cinches in at the waist and flares out into this pretty skirt. It ends at a really nice length as well. Um, I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit short but it's honestly quite modest considering. All right so let's talk about some Disney stuff. The first thing that I got from the Disney collection at Hot Topic is this dress. Dress. And I know what you're thinking, it's just like a black tank dress, what else? But no, it is Cinderella going into her carriage on the skirt. I own one of these and it's an aerial print and these are very, very, very short or at least the older ones were and this one is considerably longer than the one that I have from Ariel, which is like a year old. So I still will probably wear it over leggings because I think that's what will make me most comfortable. It's just kind of short, but it's quite all right. It is just a beautiful scene of Cinderella up here at the very top of the stairs. Can I even do this on camera? Of course not. Just Cinderella missing a shoe. Girl, what in the world have you been doing at that party? And then down here you just have the carriage. And I think it's beautiful. This is like, I love pieces of clothing like this. I love collecting it. I love putting it on my body. And I think it's really special. So I am obsessed with this dress. I think it's going to be so cute. I actually had an idea that even if I didn't really want to wear like the black tank part with it, I could legit just throw on like a crop top and it would look like a crop top skirt combo. And I just, I have so many plans. This little tank dress is super cute. I feel like it puts a lot of emphasis on the waist and really highlights this area because the top is obviously just a black tank top and it's very slim fitting and then the bottom is this sort of Shivani skirt. It is still pretty short, comes up pretty high on the knee. Like I said, I'll probably be wearing like leggings or tights or something with this, but I still think it's really cute. If you were very like straight up and down, like you didn't have a lot of hip in this area and you were very petite and short, I think this would make a regular like full out dress. But for me, because I have the hips and because I have the booty, it's a little bit shorter. So I think it's really cute still and I will definitely wear it. I love the like design on the skirt. The last clothing piece is something you all are gonna freak out over. I found this bathing suit and I know bathing suits, like I really need another one. It's Ariel. The top is like a seashell-esque purple like bra top. It has a really strong underwire on bottom so it's gonna give a crap ton of push up and then it just ties in the back and it will tie on top with this little string and it has ruffles on the top and then the bottoms oh god you guys i i'm dying over this swimsuit it might be the cutest swimsuit that i own i can't even get over it the bottoms are green and they're mermaid scaled and i haven't even tried this on yet but i cannot wait i cannot wait to do so because this might be like my new holy grail bikini it's one of those things that i think that i'll probably never even wear because i never want to destroy it but the combination is too, too, too much. This sold out almost instantly, and then I think that they restocked it, so hopefully it's back in stock. I will link everything I can down below, but I am so excited about this bikini. You guys, I could die. I've been taking pictures in this for way too long. So general thoughts. This top is cute, but I definitely, definitely should have sized down. I got the size that I got in the bottoms in the top, and while I am like bigger on bottom, my boobies are definitely a little bit small for my size, so... 
I wish I had sized down, so definitely a thought for those of you with larger or smaller boobs. The bottoms, meanwhile, are adorable. They offer a good bit of coverage and they are very comfy. This bikini is adorable and so comfortable. I really wish I could make this top work, but I think maybe it looks a little bit silly and too big, so I might just exchange it for the next size down. So, yes, I am obsessed. I'm in love. This has to be my favorite thing from the entire haul. I'm going to live in this for the rest of my life. Who am I even kidding? I'm going to be a mermaid princess for the rest of my life. That's it for clothes, and I did get a few odds and ends, and the rest of this is actually from Hot Topic. The first is a notebook, and this is, again, a My Neighbor Totoro notebook, and it is the same as my shirt. It's just in a, like, true sky blue color, and it says, Be My Neighbor. I love little notebooks like this, and I'm constantly using mine up. I'm kind of sad that the, like, pages aren't anything special. It's just like line. I also got this keychain and it is again Sailor Moon and can you guys even see this right now? It's just the cosmic heart from Sailor Moon. I haven't even opened this yet but this is going to go on my keychain. On the back it just says Sailor Moon and then it has like some copyright stuff I don't really care about and then on the front it's just the cosmic heart and I think it's really cute. It's not very heavy either which is nice so it's not gonna like weigh down my keys and it will just clip on with this little clip right here or you can obviously put it on using the little key ring so so yeah, I mean a really random little like knick-knack, but I think it's kind of cute. I also found this and had to have it the millisecond that I saw it. It is a Pokemon mug. Do you guys see this? This is a Pokeball mug. Like I'm honored, honored to drink my coffee out of this. It says do not microwave. Oh dear. And it says hand wash only. Are you that fragile? Don't care. I will cherish it forever. I hope it never breaks. It wasn't like super expensive. I think it was right around like 10 bucks. So I just thought that this is so precious. And I am a big Pokemon fan. A lot of people think that Pokemon is like a thing of the past or they played it when they were kids. I don't watch it anymore, but I still play it every time that they come out with a new game. So I guess I'm a fan. Then I got two of these little pop things and I've seen these on other people's videos before and other people have talked about them but I had to have the two of these when I saw them. This first one is a little dancing Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy of course and he's in a pot. He's in his little pot and him's just dancing. Um, I think that this is probably one of the cutest things that I own. Guardians of the Galaxy was probably my favorite Marvel movie ever. I loved it so much and just look at how cute the little Groot is. I just think he's so precious and <laughs> Then the other one that I got is Mrs. Potts and Chip, and I just thought that this one was really sweet. Obviously, this is Disney, but Chip is just a little tiny baby teacup, and him's missing a little chip. And then here's Mrs. Potts, and she's just, this is so precious to me. I cannot, even with this, I want to collect, like, all of the Disney ones, but I know I would actually go broke. These are, like, ten bucks a pop, so I have to not go crazy with them. I just think that they're really cute. So those are the little babies I got, again, from my bookshelf. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoy this haul. It is super duper duper late. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys some things that I got that are not necessarily like fashion forward. They're just things that I like. And I think that it's kind of cool to learn more about people that you watch on YouTube or that you just know as a friend. And these are some interests of mine. So maybe you learned that I like Harry Potter a lot or I really, really love Disney. Um, and if you like those things too, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, if you want more of these hauls, just let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.